Hey everyone, Nick here with another episode of Office Hours. Um, this one should be pretty uh, short and sweet, but I think it's going to pack a punch, um, especially if uh, you're not familiar with um, this brand of keyword research. Um, Kim earlier had asked, um, what were some tips and tricks to um, doing a little bit more in-depth uh, keyword research outside of that, of what you would find with something like you know, a ref searches. Um, and so I've got a little trick that um, I use and I don't think a lot of people, um, you know, go this far with it, um, but it's definitely worthwhile. And even if you've got a limited budget or even really no budget, this is how I would start. And I think this would be one of the most effective ways um, to make sure that you're sort of casting a wider net uh, than just going after the um, typical keyword that's, you know, worth all the traffic and money, um, which is what a lot of people do. A lot of people typically uh, come, you know, with the, hey, I found this uh, keyword in AREFs, uh, the KD is super low, um, but uh, I'm not having success and I'm hitting it with a bunch of links, etc. Well, you know, then you go to the first page of Google for that search term and you'll see, you know, any number of things a bunch of um, authority sites, uh, things that are going to be harder to beat than, um, you know, a metric might tell you. And so um, we'll start off just playing around with AREFs, um, tackling just a broad term. Um, so we'll go with how to cook chicken. Right, because it's going to be a broad search term. Let's call this the dream search term, right? So the the broad one is going to be competitive, most likely, um, and it's not going to be something that uh, could easily be beat by like a newer site. So you know, you're seeing thirteen thousand search volume. It's saying medium competition. I'm willing to bet if we dug into it, that it'd be more than medium competition. But uh, you know, that's not what this video is about. Um, but starting here, what I'd want to start off with is we've got this keyword, which let's call it the master keyword or like the goal set keyword. We can use two search operators. Um, and that's what this video is about are these two search operators, same way that you use, um, site colon, then your site to figure out whether it's indexed or not, or a URL is indexed or not. You'd come in here and you'd use all in title colon or all in URL colon. And then we can use the keyword that we were after, how to cook chicken, to get some interesting data. So within the URL, meaning this URL right here, it's going to have to include how to cook chicken. So how to cook chicken how to cook chicken, right? And then all in title is going to do the same thing, but how to cook chicken is going to be in the title um, of this uh, particular page. But what's important to note about what these operators give us is that there's 50, just under 54,000 results. So if we were to tackle this keyword, we'd be going in a competition with 54,000 um, you know, pages that have uh, this uh, phrase within the URL, um, which is, you know, going to be extremely competitive. It's not going to be easy to access. Um, and it's going to be a longer route to the money um, or to the traffic, so to speak. Um, but what we can do knowing this information is we're trying to get this number down. And depending on the size of our site, how old it is, and all those variables that include the Holy Trinity, which is power, trust, and authority, um, you're going to be looking to reduce the competition um, you know, that you're involved in. And a way to do that is we can take this keyword, we can go back to AREFs. Um, oh, right. And once we've got it, we can come down here to keyword ideas by search volume. And let's open it up. And again, KD is not the greatest indicator of whether you can get access to a certain SERP or not. 
But what it is, is, um, I mean, it can be used as sort of a guide point to see if um, you can get in there just with a little bit of extra digging. Um, so looking in here, let's try and find something, you know, that it's saying is very easy to access. So here's a good one, how to cook chicken livers, right? Let's say we're just looking for keyword ideas that are going to generate traffic that then might um, lend themselves to increase traffic on a different page, um, you know, for fried chicken cookers or something like that. Here's a good access point. It says two, and we can check whether this is really a good key search term by looking at uh, how many results are in the URL or title. So here, you know, we've cut down our results drastically. Um, you know, for a medium-sized site, this might be something worth going after that's not going to be too hard for them to get into. Um, and then we look in title, and there's 1150 results. Um, so still slightly competitive, but again, depending on the size of your site, maybe this is something you could access a lot more easily than where we started. And then you could always still um, lend yourself to getting traffic that's related to the main goal set, which is how to cook chicken. And let's say that, you know, hypothetically, you have absolutely no budget, right? You're writing these articles on your own. The idea is to try and get free links, free everything. Well, then you'd want to break this down even further um, and find something that would be accessible maybe, um, you know, just by building the page and getting it indexed, which is possible. Um, so we've got how to cook chicken livers, and then we've got a plethora of options here that we could go after 300 search volume according to this for how to cook chicken livers for dogs. And so let's toss that in there. 66 results. So under 100 results that you're going to have to compete with uh, that, is, that have it in the title and under 80 results um, that have it in the URL. So, you know, right here is a, you know, prime keyword for somebody who's been working on a site, it's got a decent amount of content. Um, and you want to just jump in here, maybe shoot a couple links at it. And again, you can go even further um, than that uh, and find other keywords that maybe at, at uh, let's try this for cats. Google catching on to what I'm doing nine results. So this is a case where it's like, all right, well, I could probably optimize my page properly with the title, with the URL, you know, build synonyms around both of them um, and really optimize myself up to accessing, you know, something with how to cook chicken as the main um, idea of traffic that I want, but opening it up to uh, other things. Now, you know, this got turned around It turned into something a little bit more broad. Um, you know, originally we're probably thinking humans, but um, this will translate differently depending on the niche you're going after and depending on what kind of rabbit hole you go into. But this can be applied in any niche, anywhere for any number of keywords, and it can expand your ability to manipulate your permalinks or the titles. Um, you know, to get you positions um, in in places where some people aren't looking um, because they're not the money terms. Um, but you know, depending on your profit margins, uh, something with even ten search uh, monthly search volume, according to Arefs, could pan out to be um, you know very uh, well suited to your interests. So anyhow, I hope that uh, helps open up some doorways. Uh, and if you've got any questions, just feel free to leave them under the video and we'll uh, get to them as quickly as we can. Um, but again, uh, thanks for attending office hours and we will see you again soon.